Dobriden. We have just covered a lot of material that may be new to you. It seems strange, right? There are some logic operations you are probably used to, like AND, but there are others that might tie up your brain, like exclusive NOR. And then for each of these, there are multiple forms like gates and truth tables. So what's the point? All of this material is laying the foundation to allow us to design circuits for a specific goal. We want the circuits to work for us. This work could be very simple, like adding two numbers, or it could be more complex, like showing a YouTube video. No matter how complicated, the underlying ideas are these basic logic operations. And the tools that help us get there are the various logic forms. A simple design route that we will employ soon in this class is 1. Define your goals with the truth table. 2. Derive a Boolean equation from that table. And 3. Build a circuit from that equation. Let's see this in action with a simple example. A circuit that can add two bits together. There are only four possible sums, and you see them all right here. Rather than writing it arithmetically, let's look at it as a truth table. A and B are the addend and augend. C and S together represent the two-bit sum, but they are in separate columns. Notice how the zeros and ones appear in the same spots on the left and right sides, but they do mean different things. In the actual arithmetic, they mean numerical values. In the table, they represent true and false values which we as the designers have decided to interpret as numerical values. Now let's pause for a second and see if anything rings a bell. What logic operation does the C column seem to reflect? It outputs true if all of the inputs are true. Ah, this is simply AND logic. And what about the S column? It is true when one and only one input is true. That sounds a lot like exclusive OR. Sure enough, we can translate the logic from the truth table into these Boolean equations. C equals A and B. S equals A exclusive or B. From those equations, we can draw a logic circuit using the appropriate gates. And if we had a physical breadboard, we could easily build this adder in real life. A couple of points I want to emphasize. We just applied logic operations to perform something that is not logic. This is a fundamental abstraction. The electrons flowing through our circuit don't know that they are doing addition, but we get to interpret it as such. We are wielding the power of physics and logic to do our bidding. And lastly, this is obviously a simple example. Most work we want done requires more layers of logic. To help us reduce this into something we can efficiently wire, we'll take advantage of Boolean algebra simplification techniques. That's the main focus of our next lesson.